guys, my name is Monica and thanks for visiting my channel, Comic Cat Creations. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this skirt that I'm wearing now. It's really easy to sew and you don't even need a pattern, so let's get started. For your fabric, you'll need a rectangular piece of a light non-stretch fabric like a lightweight cotton. It's very wide, but you're only seeing half of it because it's folded to fit into the shot. Cut to your desired length. I eventually cut mine to 20 inches. There's no exact math to measuring the width, which of course you're only seeing half of, but your skirt needs to be wide enough to drape comfortably around the widest part of your hips and to be taken off without a zipper since we're not using one. To determine the width, drape the fabric around your waist, making sure there's enough extra fabric for it not to be clingy and to easily take it on and off. I ended up cutting mine to 51 inches wide, and in comparison my hips are 45 inches. For the waistband, you'll need a thick piece of elastic. Mine's 2 inches thick. To determine the width, wrap the band around your waist where you want the skirt to sit, stretching it so that it's secure. To check the fit, you can pin it into place and move around to make sure it stays. I did some amazing dance moves to test my fit. Yup, I'm good. Now remove the elastic after marking it with a couple of pins, then cut the band to size with a half inch extra on both sides for seams. Next we need to divide the fabric into 16 equal sections. The easy way to do this is to start by folding the fabric in half and marking the halfway point. I use pins to mark my sections. To divide it into quarters, just fold one end of the fabric to the center point and then mark again with a pin. Fold the quarters in half and mark, and then do this one more time. You'll now have pins marking the entire width of your fabric into 16 equal sections, and I found this to be easier than marking exact measurements with a tape measure. We'll use the same method to create 16 equal sections on the elastic, so fold it in half, place a pin, fold those sections in half, pin, and then repeat until you have 16 equally spaced pins on your waistband. To attach the waistband and skirt together, find the center marks of both and line them up, right sides together. I just left this quarter inch of fabric extra because it helps to have a little extra space for seams when sewing and it'll be trimmed later. Pin the centers together and then slide over to the next pins, line them up, pin them, and continue until you've pinned the whole width where you'll have 16 even gathers. Now it's time to sew the pieces together. To sew these, you'll need to stretch out the elastic to be the same size as your fabric as you sew. Having the 16 small sections helps at this point because you're only stretching and sewing a few inches at a time in between the pins instead of trying to keep the entire band stretched evenly, plus you can stop and readjust the fabric if needed. It's easiest to use both hands to keep the elastic stretched evenly with the fabric and guide the fabric through the machine this way. Always remember to backstitch at the beginning and end of anything you sew. Now your skirt and waistband are attached neatly and the fabric is gathered evenly and will stretch when the elastic is stretched. I cut the raw edge of the fabric with pinking shears to keep it from fraying, but make sure you don't cut the elastic waistband too or it will make a mess. I made a seam binding to add a cool decorative touch at the skirt's bottom instead of a standard hem, but you can also use store-bought bias tape. To make the binding, cut a strip of fabric in your choice of color that measures 2 inches by whatever the width of your fabric is, 51 inches in my case. This piece is just smaller so my demo would fit on screen. Fold the fabric in half and lightly press with your fingers across the entire width so you can see a light crease mark in the middle of the fabric to use as a guideline. Fold one raw edge into the center crease mark and then iron it down. Turn the fabric and then fold and iron the other raw edge to meet the center crease. Fold it in half so that the two folded edges meet and iron so now you'll have a nice neat binding in whatever color you want. Go to the bottom raw edge of the skirt opposite the waistband and starting at one end you're going to sandwich the fabric in between your binding, hiding the raw edge, and pin it into place. Then continue to pin the entire piece of binding along the bottom edge, smoothing out the fabric so it's nice and even. Once you have it pinned, sew a line of top stitching about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the binding that's closest to the skirt fabric. The binding adds a stylish flair to the skirt, especially if you choose a contrasting color. With right sides facing together, match the raw edges of the skirt and pin them together, taking extra care to carefully line up the waistband and bindings so that they look neat and even after they're sewn. Sew the pieces together with a half inch seam allowance. Then trim the fabric with pinking shears and press open the seam with an iron. For your final step, sew a small row of stitches on either side of the seam, stitching only on the elastic. You won't even see the stitches, but this will keep the elastic seam allowance laying flat when you wear the skirt. 
You're all done sewing and now you have an adorable skirt that will flatter just about any body type. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe because in my next video I'll be showing you how to make this cute matching faux leather studded bracelet incorporating leftover fabric from the skirt. Bye everyone! I'd say this skirt is dance approved. I didn't say it was a good dance though, okay?